Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to assemble inline 4 engine. So let's start. From file, select new, then select assembly, then click OK. Now click on the crankshaft and select open. Put it here. Right click over the right plane and select normal to. Click on layout and select center line. Now draw a vertical and horizontal center line through the origin point. Now exit the sketch. Press control and select this part and select the horizontal line. Then go to assembly and select make. Select concentric. Then click OK. Now select this surface and the vertical line. Now select coincident, then click OK. Now you can see the part can be rotated. Now select normal to. Now right click over right plane and select sketch. Select center line. Put the cursor over this edge and middle point will be shown. Draw a vertical center line from the previous line through the middle point. Repeat the process for three more vertical lines. and exit the sketch go to assembly and select insert component select first seven components then select open now put the parts according to their relevant position Now press Ctrl and select the outer surface of the ring and internal pocket of the piston. Click on Mate. Then click OK. Select the lower surface of the ring and the lower surface of the pocket. Then select Coincident and click OK. Now cross the Mate. Expand Insert Component and select Copy with Mate. Select the ring and go to next. Now it asks for coincident relation which is shown with different color. Now select the cylindrical surface of the pocket and now it asks for the coincident relation so select the lower surface of the pocket. If you get confused with the surfaces which to select then always follow the colors which is shown to the relevant of the previous one. Now press control and select the cylindrical surface of the welding and the cylindrical surface of the piston pocket. Then click on Mate and select Coincentric. Then click OK. Click on the top surface of the welding and click on the top surface of piston pocket. Then select Coincentric and click OK. Now from Insert Component, select Copy on Mate, select the welding, then go to Next, select the radial surface and click on the lower surface of the pocket then click OK now press control and select the cylindrical surface of the expander and the cylindrical surface of the pocket then click on mate lower the piston and select this edge of expander and select the bottom surface of welding then click on coincentric and click ok now select the cylindrical surface of the piston pin and internal hole of the piston then select coincentric and click ok now expand piston 
press control and select front plane now expand the piston pin now select front plane now click on mate select coincentric and click off now select on this hole and the outer surface of the piston pin then select coincentric and click ok now expand connecting rod then press control and select the front plane and select the front plane of the piston then click on make select coincident and click ok now click on this part and right click over it select move with triad then rotate this part press ctrl and select this surface and this surface then click on mate select coincident and click ok select this hole and this hole select concentric then click ok similarly for this side also press control and select this surface and this surface then click on make select concentric and click ok expand the advanced mate option then select width select this surface and this surface and select this surface and this surface so this will be positioned in middle of the previous two one now select the cylindrical surface of the piston and the center line that we created at first go to standard mat and select concentric then click ok now rotate the crankshaft and you can see the piston is having a reciprocating motion now we have to adjust the piston ring gaps first two gap will be at 180 degree interval so this gap will be at this side the welding gap will be at 90 degree with first two Now we need to lock the rotation of the rings. So expand mate. Just put the cursor over the coincentric mates. The color change will help to identify the required one. Then right click over that mate. And select edit feature. Now click on lock rotation, then click OK. Now you can see there will be a blue dot over the concentric mate, that means it is locked. Now repeat the process for the following rings.
now expand insert component and select copy with map now select all the bodies the blue color will be indicate that the part is selected then click on next at first it asks for concentric you can see a violet color is shown to guide you to the relevant concentric so select the surface and select the width and select this line then click ok repeat the process for next two then click ok so it's done from file save it